Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 30th of September 2020. This reading here is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it just leave it aside. If you feel as though um, you, uh, you would like to have a personal reading, you're in search of clarity, you're in search of guidance, uh, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it'll be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can go and find those answers for you. Also, if you've been to the channel multiple times or if it's your very first time and you do enjoy the messages, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. Um, this reading here is dedicated to the sign of Scorpio. What we want to know here is you are the third person who has added themselves into an existing relationship. So there is a love triangle. That being said, you want to know, are they going to leave their partner for you? May it be because they've told you, maybe they've made you believe some illusions, maybe it's true. Maybe they said absolutely nothing and you're just the one hoping that at some point they're going to leave the other partner for you. So. Let's turn these cards over and let's go see. We're going to begin by turning the um, the Alice and the Lenormand and at the very end we'll go and check out our Oracle card from the Witches. So here we have the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the King of Swords, the Death, the Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess, I also have the Queen of Wands. I have justice, I have a staircase, I have mouse, mice, and I have a mountain. So, will they leave their partner for you? No, they will not. Um, they will not leave their partner for you, but I do feel like they are going to be leaving this uh, relationship for the pure and simple reason that their uh, lady or their man found out about you. Um, somehow, I don't know how, but they did find out. So they now know that there is a third person that is involved into the relationship. And therefore, your partner is in really big trouble. So they need to end this relationship as quick as possible if they do want to continue this relationship with partner number one. Um, so this here, and by the way, I just have to say that if ever, you know, partner does show up again, do need to be very, very careful. This is a very manipulative type of person. Um, they're very decisive. When they make a decision, that's it, and there's no two ways about it. But that being said, they are very deceitful. They lie. They're very manipulative. They will say anything to get what it is that they want. So please do be very, very careful of this character over here. That being said, um, you know, I have you over here, and this is about blowing out the candle. It's about blowing out the... Um, uh, the wishes and the life of this relationship that you're holding on to right now. Um, so this is really depicting the end. It doesn't really matter what it is that you do. Um, you know, like we've got the bottles here of eat me and drink me. It doesn't really matter. It's going to come to the same conclusion in the end. So, um, as I said, I feel like, you know, maybe, you know, this is when, you know, she or he found out that there was another person to the relationship. Everything is going to end up really, really abruptly. So everything's going to stop. All the plans are going to be, you know, backed up. No more happening. Everything is canceled. And they're just going to do like this night here and almost, you know, get up on their horse and leave. Um, so they're going to go back to the, um, to the other partner. Um, I feel as though this had been going on for quite some time. Um, but I feel like you were just kind of hiding into your teapot. Um, this card here is all about facing your fears. So this is really about when you don't really want to believe something, you don't really think that, you know, it could be possible. With this card, you really have two choices. You can either pull yourself out of this teacup or you can wait for somebody to come and pour you out of the teacup. Now, the option being, you know, you pour yourself out is much, much better um, because right now it's almost like if you're blindfolded, you're into a situation where you really can't see what it is that you, um, that you need to see and this is a big problem. Problem. Um, 
Oops, I'm taking my Oracle card. There you go. Uh, with that, the ships, the ships have sailed. The journey is done. This is what was pretty much planned almost into their mind, I have to say. And so that journey is done. It's done for. Um, you know, I know that you want, I know that you want to give some kind of justice here. You want to have some kind of say. You, there's something that you want to do, but it is better if you just do not do it. Or if you do, you know, decide to go that way, do it by an email or by text or something like that. Not to, you know, move too many things around with, you know, partner number one. It's just not worth the fight. It's not worth, you know, the the whole energy consecrated toward that is just not worth it. What is important for you is the partner, not everything else that surrounds it. Um, so this is your you wanting to give some justice, but you're just not able to do so right now. And I have the looking glass here with the um, the high priestess. And this really denotes that when Alice is looking throughout the mirror, and this is going to be the same thing for you, that you don't see any future with this person. Okay, you just see yourself. So this is depicting as though this here should not be onto your journey. So um, we're going to just going to remove these a moment here. And we're going to go see what the Lenormans have to say. I have a mountain, I have mice, and I have um, a staircase. So I do have to say that, you know, I know that this has been bothering you for a really long time. Um, but the answer, the verdict is there, although they haven't quite, they haven't said it to you verbally yet. You know, the mountains, they're just too steep. They're way too high. They don't want to go climbing up those mountains. Um, mice eating away. That's been eating away at you and at him or her, the partner, okay? Because um, it's just... Uh, you know, the whole thought of, okay, how am I going to do this? Or how am I going to break this up with that person? Or how am I going to say this? Or what am I going to do? Or how am I going to find a lie? Everything just becomes so, so complicated. And it's very, very difficult. And it takes a lot of energy to try and orchestra all this. And I don't believe that you have neither one of them. So this could be creating a problem. Uh, that being said, there is a choice to be made. But the choice, we already said, you know, what was going on into the Alice cards. So this is really just showing that there is going to be a change change in plans. As with the Witch's Oracle, I have a familiar. So the, mes the message of this card is all about showing who you really are and revealing truths about yourself that you have just locked away for a long, long time or, you know, even just to others. So, but to yourself as well. So these have become burdensome um, and you need to stop carrying that heavy weight around you. It's time to just come. It's time to uh, come out and find your place and show your colors. So that being said, this does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it made sense to you. If you do have any questions, you would like to have a personal reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. And uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you for being there.